Hi, I'm Sarah Short with Love Your Block West Huntington, and this is Buttons. And today, we are going to be starting our reading of Change the World for Ten Bucks. This series is going to be where we're going to read a section, and then we're going to do the action. So, our first one today is decline plastic bags whenever possible. And that's action one. The 500 year shopping trip. Every person in the country uses an average of 330 plastic bags each year. That's 100 billion plastic bags altogether. A plastic bag can take up to 500 years to decay in a landfill. But there's an alternative. It's called a shopping bag and it's reusable. And apparently in France, it's very chic. So, today we're going to make our own reusable shopping bag. So I have started one and made this one as a test out of an old t-shirt. So it was a t-shirt. We cut off the shoulders and the neck and tied the bottom and made a pretty good sized bag. You can put a lot of groceries in there. So now we're going to make one out of another t-shirt. And there's several ways you can do this. Um, this one we're going to follow the same method as this where we are going to cut off the arms, cut around the neck, and then we're going to cut the bottom and tie it together. But if you didn't want to tie, you could also sew the bottom. So let's get started. All you need for this is a t-shirt, a pair of scissors, a bowl. You don't have to have a bowl, but if you want a good precise cut, you can use a bowl and a pencil or marker to mark the cut. And that's just for the opening of the bag. So first we're going to fold this in half and do the arms. And if you don't have fabric cutting scissors, you might need to just uh, use regular scissors. Any scissors will do, really. But if it's too thick for you to cut with regular scissors, it just doesn't have to be perfect. You can take it apart and cut one by one. So. We're just going to cut on the inside of the seam. And it's going to look kind of like one of those shirts that uh, people wear maybe at the gym to show off their guns. So there's that. Now, we're going to do the neck. So we're going to put our bowl down. Now, right on top of that. I'm going to take your pencil. or whatever and make a faint line now we're just going to take our scissors and cut along that line and it's okay if it's not a perfect circle or a perfect line this is just a bag for you to take to the grocery store or you know you can use these bags however you want to but it's a fun craft you can do in your spare time and it's a good way to help the environment and help help the world see i don't 
always cut very pretty either. And that's okay. Alright, so now we have well, it's basically a tank top. And now I'm going to fold it inside out. That is if you have a t-shirt that has like a label or something on the front that you really want to show off, you would want to fold it inside out. Really, with this kind of a shirt, it doesn't matter too much. Now we're going to line up to the hem on the bottom. And we're going to take our scissors and cut them into strips. They don't have to be real big, you're just going to be tying them into some knots. So do like not even an inch tall and maybe a centimeter wide. And again, you don't have to do it this way. If you feel comfortable using a sewing machine or even sewing by hand, you can totally do that for the bottom too. But if you want a no sew project, this gives you the chance to just tie the ends. All right, now that you're finished cutting your little strips, we're going to start at one end and tie each together. So you're gonna skip that first piece on the very end, start with the second piece, and those two identical sisters we're gonna to tie together. And then we're gonna go all the way across and do each of those. So now that we're at the end and we've tied them all once, we're going to go back across and tie them again instead of tying them to your to their sister. We're going to tie them to the next one to their neighbor. All right, so once you get to the end, you're going to want to double knot each of the ends to make just make sure that they don't come undone. All right, and now I'm going to fold it back outside so that all of these are hidden. So now that we have our bag finished, we're going to pretend we're going to go to the grocery store and uh, get ourselves some veggies. And instead of going to the store and putting your veggies into a bag like this, which will take forever to decompose, you can use your own handmade bag. So let's fill up our grocery bag and uh, see how well we've done. And what's nice about this is if it gets dirty, that's fine. It's a t-shirt, you can throw it in the wash. So how much will this bag hold? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. And of course, there's all kinds of other uses for this. I mean, it doesn't just have to be for groceries. You can take it to the beach, take it to school, take it to the park, put some snacks in here, put your water bottle, take some stuff for your dog, whatever. You can use all kinds of stuff for these bags. But uh, they are great as a good replacement for grocery bags. So make sure you uh, join us again next time to learn about another way to change the world for just 10 bucks. Thank you.